Velvet Planet Crochet. This afternoon I'm going to show you how to do a simple border. Using the squares I joined for a previous video, two videos back, I just did a sample piece. This is what I did it for. This is almost finished and then it will be released on my Etsy shop. So I just showed you how I found a new way for me to do join as you go method. So if you haven't looked at that or watched it and how to go, I will leave a link below. So what I'm going to do is, and now I've picked a different colour to what I've used or I've even used in the blanket, just for contrast. You've gone all the way around your squares, you've joined them all together, you've gone all the way around and you've finished in the bottom right hand corner. A tip that I use is I always rejoin a different colour yarn somewhere else on the project. If it's round, I'll go almost halfway around and join again because I don't like all the joins in one place. I don't like it. With this square, I'm going to join in a one chain space. It's a really simple and effective way of um, a border. To do a standing stitch as well, I have got another video on that. I will leave a link in the description below. Opposite side to where you finished, in one of the, in one of the chain spaces, one chain space, do a standing double crochet. This is UK terminology. Standing double crochet. Chain one. It's as you've done before, all the way around. Chain one, double crochet in the space from a previous round. Now I've got two ways. I did this off camera to see if I was see how it looked both ways. So I'll do this way first. And it's just a nice effect for your blanket if you don't want too much fuss on the edge or the border, whatever you call it. In the corner, three single sorry, that's American term. Double crochet. You can still use American terminology, but I'm using in this video um, uh, UK terminology. Three double crochet in the corner space. Chain one, because we want to jump over the double crochet from the previous round. And do the same as your previous round. So it's one double crochet, one, chain one. One double crochet, chain one, all the way around. When you get to the join of your squares, if you've watched the video, I've got this stuck. In the loop where you joined your squares, there was a loop. You chain one for the corner, put the double crochet in the loop, and then you chained one and put a double crochet in the next square. So you, you kind of made squares on each, but then you joined them together down the side. So this is the left hand side going down. And all you do is to get across from one square to the next to the next is the same as you've been doing. Chain one and in that corner, just the one double crochet. And to get over that double crochet from your first from your join. And then double crochet and your next so then your next round if you chose if you choose to do that you don't have to you just do exactly the same as this round so i'll go all the way around and come back to my beginning off camera and i'll meet you back so if you do that i'll just show you again over your join Oh dear, I've got stuck. So there's just between your two squares. You've made a corner using one of the the loop chains and same on that and you just go across. Put one double crochet in the first square, chain one and one double crochet in your next square. 
and then so on all the way around. And I'll catch you at the beginning of your standing double crochet. I've finished all the way around with the double crochet chain one and three double crochet in each corner. I'll turn my work because I'm going to join in the opposite side or you can just turn your work one side round just so you've not got all your ends in one place. It's just a tip, you don't have to do it but that's how I like to do it. Find a one chain space, put a place one double crochet, standing double crochet. If you do your double crochet another way, that's fine, but I like to do a standing chain one and double crochet to the corner. When you're at your corner, don't forget that last chain one. Find the middle double crochet and place one double crochet, it seems a lot, chain three and double crochet. It's just a way I found, a different way of doing things. And for me, this will be the last round. I'm not going to do, you can do it as wide as you want, but I'm just gonna do. So this last silver that I used to join the squares is my last. And that's the corner and then do exactly the same as you've done before. Chain one, one double crochet. Like I said, it's really easy and simple, but effective because it just pops out different colors. And what you can do as well is use a color what you've used in the blanket. You've got quite a few colors from the blanket, the pattern I've written. You could use as a um, border in between the silver and I think that is so simple and effective. Now I'll show you a different corner using the same colours but just doing a different corner on the coloured, on the uh, colour you've picked, not the silver, the colour you've joined with. The other corner is as you've done before. One double crochet chain three and one double crochet and then carry on as you've been doing oh it's getting warm here in yorkshire the sun's come out now it was cloudy this morning and then put your sil mine's silver by the way and then put your joining colour on the top as you've done before. I'll just show you what it looks like. In contrast with the other one. And they're just as easy as each other. You just remember if you do one corner, don't forget when you get to the other because you're going to have a lot bigger blanket than this. Remember which corner you've done. And that's the difference. So just rewind the video back and you'll see what it looked like because I've took it out now. Oops. So there you go. So it's just as nice and it's and it's so easy and effective when you put the joining colour as the last round around your blanket and it'll just trap and pop the colour out, whatever colour you've used as the edge border of your blanket. That's it from me, Bev at Planet Crochet. I'll catch you again on another video. Uh, leave a comment below, let me know which corner you prefer or you've had a go at doing on your blanket. If you like this video, please subscribe and then you won't miss any more videos that I will be doing in the future. Bye for now.